hello everyone. My name is Jennifer Dixon with Thrive Yoga and Wellness. And today we are gonna talk about some stuff that is new to the studio and probably if you're anything like me, very, very new to you as well. As you all know, a little over a year ago, we started carrying some CBD products in the studio. We started with just, oh, two brands. We had a Blue Ridge Hemp Company and they were topicals and then we had a Green Roads product. And since then, we now have over 10 different types of CBD products in the studio and they come from all over the US and we have a whole bunch of different varieties. We have like tinctures, we have edibles, we have, um, oh man, los lozenges, which would still be like an edible. We, of course we have topicals. And the thing that I wanted to talk to you about today is about the flower. So if you're anything like me, you probably were a little bit hesitant to use CBD in the first place. I grew up in the era of um, D.A.R.E. <laughs> My D.A.R.E. teacher would have been proud. So I have never really been exposed to hemp. It wasn't until actually my dog got very, very, very sick. Um, she had an inoperable tumor on her liver that I even started exploring the opportunities of the healing aspects of what this plant can do. And I credit my, my dog's extension of life. She was given 18 months to live. She ended up living twice that. And the last six months of that, I credit 100% to us supplementing um, her with CBD. And so that's how we got into this. I saw what amazing results that my dog had that I thought, okay, there, there's something to this type of supplementation. I'm going to try it. I tried it on my feet on a, as a topical because again, I was nervous about ingesting it or you know anything inside my body. I figured, well, at least I'll try it on my skin. And I had really bad uh, fat, plantar fasciitis um, postpartum. My, my feet were just killing me all the time. And so I started out using a topical product. And since then, over the last year and a half, I have been experimenting with all sorts of different types of CBD of which you can get several of them here inside of Thrive Yoga and Wellness or online at our website thrivehempstore.com. But what I wanted to talk about today was the flower. So even though I had been using these CBD products, I've never really done anything with the natural product. That is the, 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 the product in its most natural state. And believe it or not, we've uh, been able to legally grow CBD since 2014. And it's taken a few years for, especially here in Tennessee, for the crops to get good enough, mature enough to be able to, to be like a really viable crop. But let's keep in mind, Tennessee used to be tobacco um, country, right? So it, it makes sense that this would grow really, really well in our area. But because it was so new, it took several years for the crops to start being viable. This year, more than any year so far, the state of Tennessee had the most amount of licenses, people applying to grow industrial hemp, and you literally had thousands of people growing this product across the state. Locally, we have several folks all over, anywhere from in Red Bank, in Harrison, up in Cleveland, in Appison. Basically, you've got it all up and down our area because again, this used to be really good prime farm country. What I want to talk to you about today is the Martin Farm flower. The reason why I am bringing this up is because it is the only variety of this type of hemp that you're going to be able to find in our area. The, the hemp that was grown on Martin Farms is called Young Sim 10. It is a new variety. It's a new strain. So like if you've been to the studio, you've probably seen we have Lifter, we have Cherry, we have um, super haze and then we have some other vapes that are named after similar things like OG Kush and super lemon haze we have all different types of strains based off of bigger brands but the one that I wanted to highlight today was off of a new strain called young sim 10 this strain is interesting because you've got anywhere from 10 to 14 percent cbd concentration so it's a it's a good concentrated product but it's also known because it's very very smooth so i don't smoke things regularly i've just really have never been into that and so if i am going to try to inhale something because again i'm a little bit nervous about all of these stuff that you're going to see online I've got to have it since I'm not used to it. It has to be what's considered a smooth smoking experience. And Young Sim 10 definitely has that. 
But I also wanted to talk to you a little bit about these flowers and you can't really see it. I'm a little bit too close. I wanted to show you some flower. So again, and if you guys knew me like in just 20 years ago in high school, you would be shocked that I would do a, be doing a video with hemp beside me and telling you about it, but I'm really excited about it. So things to keep in mind with industrial hemp. In order for it to be considered industrial hemp and legal, we have to have 0.3% or below THC. Now, keep in mind, this is a plant. It's a naturally occurring substance. So that means on average, it has to be about 0.3% or less. In Europe, it's like 0.2%. The Young Sim comes at right in, right there at that 0.3% on average. Keeping in mind, each flower might be a little bit different. So it might be a little bit more or a little bit less, but you would have to basically run a test on every single flower and each of the one plants has a ton of flowers, ton of different flowers. So let me show you a little bit. Today's video is going to be specifically on talking about the flower and the differences between a, a, a cut flower and then a non-cut flower. So I want to show you, this is considered a flower that has been trimmed. I shouldn't have said cut. That shows my noviceness. It's been trimmed. So here is a flower that has been trimmed. It just looks like, you know, a little green green almost I don't know if you can see the individual little seeds here is a non trimmed plant they're not, seeds. they're not seeds excuse me they look like little buds I'm sorry I have someone helping me and so these are not seeds but they kind of look like little they look like buds that's why they're called bud that they're not seeds the seeds are taken off no the the seeds you get the seeds when you have a male plant around and that's how they make baby hemp plants but these didn't have male plants around so that's why you get those little buds now, going on back to my subject before I went on a squirrel hunt. So this is called a non-trimmed flower. If you notice, you've got these little bitty, almost like leaves right beside them, right? So let me show you a trimmed and then a non-trimmed. Now look at all of these little bitty flowers. So if you're anything, again, like me, you'd have no idea what these terms mean. And I wanted to show you the differences here in this video. This flower, this, this plant right here has not been trimmed. And if you look, there's like literally like hundreds of these little bitty leaves that you have to cut off. Now, do you have to cut them off? I said you have to, but you do have to. No, you don't. What's the benefit of cutting them? The benefit of cutting off the leaves means you get a smoother experience if you do smoke it or inhale it. It doesn't mean you have to do it, and especially if you're used to, to smoking, you may not have to. When you have a bud that has been trimmed, that's very labor intensive. And so you're gonna notice the price of that is gonna be a little bit more because seriously, one person had to sit there with probably a little those little magnifying glasses on and trim all of those little leaves off of it in order to create a plant that looks like this. When you get it, you pinch some off. You could either roll it in papers or you could um, do it in a vaporizer. And we'll do some other videos about that in future episodes. But I wanted to talk to you a little bit. So why trim it? So if you trim it, you will have a smoother experience when you are smoking it. The thing about it is, is even these leaves, they have cannabinoids in them, and it's the cannabinoids that we're looking for when you supplement with CBD. That's what cannabinoid we are looking for. We have different types of cannabinoids. Um, some, some resources online, I've seen anything from 85 different cannabinoids up to over 114. Oh, 120 now. So you've got, there's tons of different cannabinoids in this plant. All of them are beneficial to our system. And so anything that is inside the plant, sometimes it's called aerial parts, basically everything above the ground, that can be used in a tincture, in some of the edibles. They can just take it down, chop it off at the, the base, and then oh, there's different types of extraction methods. You could use CO2, alcohol, or you just get the flower and you smoke it. The flower, when you smoke it with the leaves, again, remember, is a little bit harsher. When you just smoke it with these buds, it's not as harsh. But all of these things have cannabinoids in it, right? But the bud, that's where you get like, it's like the best stuff, you know? So like when you smoke it with this, it's like having a Hershey chocolate bar. But when you have it without the leaves, that's when you are getting in with like the Godiva and the really good, since Deborah's watching, the Belgian chocolate. Like that's when you make, when it makes a difference in the experience that you're going to have when you supplement with the CBD. 
The other thing that you're going to notice, especially if you're looking for CBD online, is the prices vary astronomically. And even if we get into just looking at the flower, the prices are gonna vary a whole bunch based on where they were grown, uh, whether or not it's a big, big farm and they use machines to help to tend the plants and even to help get rid of the leaves. So the, the, the thing that you need to keep in mind, at least with the products, the flowers that we have inside the studio, currently we've got one product that is out of Oregon, but we're not gonna carry that anymore. We're gonna only be carrying Tennessee or local products here because then we know exactly what is going to be, what the weather environment was like. For example, on the West Coast, they, like in Oregon, where for up until recently, the majority of the industrial hemp was coming from, like I said, we had some um, industrial hemp from Oregon, they had a very wet season. So what happens when you have a wet season? That creates an environment for other things to grow. So what do I mean by that? Like mold, mildew, you know, like when it's very humid, you're going to have things growing on the plant, right? And that's not great. It's not great to be, to be smoking it. It's not... It's not good for you, right? So at least we know here what we've got here with the Young Sim and these local products that we're gonna have that we have in the studio is we've got a a hand trimmed small batch product. These were all they, these were all tended to. I actually got to meet some of the farmers. They were out there every day with the big hats and and the, the scissors, and they were shooing off the bugs. All natural products, so that none of these products have been using pesticides or any of those words that you can't pronounce to keep the bugs away. What what kept the bugs away was human hands, human eyes, shooing them away, trying to keep it keep it fresh, keep it from being contaminated. It was watered by by God and I believe there was some irrigation and the sun was also from God. So these were all hundred percent natural small batched products in this young sim tin by Martin Farms. Keep in mind, like I said, when you have a hand trimmed product, it's much more labor intensive. So you're going to be able to see that all of these leaves have been cut off of the bud. And it doesn't mean that those leaves are not useful. In fact, you can actually use those leaves. Some of those leaves could be used in products like for edibles because you can just use those leaves to extract the CBD in it and, and create a product like that. But if you're looking for a strictly smokable product that has a very, very smooth ex, uh, what is it, experience, then you wanna have those leaves taken off. Now, again, I am not as familiar with all the different strains of hemp as probably other people that have spent many, many years smoking the real thing. But what I can tell you is the Young Sim 10 has a, what they call a citrus scent to it. So it's it's very similar to a Colombian strain. Oh my gosh, I need to look up that name. And then like a lemon citrix. So you can see, you can smell a little bit. Those are the terpenes. What it smells like are the terpenes in the, in the plant. This is the most like lemon calyx and gold Colombian strain in the fact that it's very fruity and citrusy smelling and very, very smooth smelling, smooth smoking. You can use, like I said, all of the parts of the plant that are above the ground if you wanted to smoke it, but the best experience that you would get if you were looking to smoke it is with a trimmed product. You can get industrial sized trimmed products, but what happens is the further away that you get from the plant, from the ground, you know, like the more processed it is, there's, it's just little bitty steps along that stairway of not being 100% natural. So each time you do something to it, it's changing the, the plant. One more thing that I wanted to talk about really fast, at least in this video, and keep in mind, we will be doing lots of videos for the next several weeks talking about the flower because I was very nervous about trying it. I was very nervous about having it in the studio. And so I wanted to share the knowledge and the information that I have gleaned over the last year and a half about these flowers with you, my audience, so that it can sort of demystify some of the things about this plant. There's a lot of great evidence coming out more and more about the benefits of the CBD plant, or the hemp plant rather, about the benefits of cannabinoids, but because it is so new and the FDA hasn't fully studied everything, 
I was nervous about carrying it, especially the flower, and I wanted to share the knowledge that I have gleaned over the last 18 months or so utilizing the different types of products. And now as I tiptoe into the most natural state of it, I wanted to share that with you so that you too could kind of get over some of the unknowns. And if you were afraid of it like I was, then you could be like, okay, this is, this is making sense. This is making sense. I don't feel as afraid. So the things that you want to keep in mind is yes, the plant, if you see a plant, you know, if you go to a farm like I got to see, that's in its raw state, right? So that's those cannabinoids. Actually, if you were to look at it on a test, that would be like the letters, the CBDA or CBGA. That's the acid. I don't want to get too much into it because if you're like me, you'll probably gloss over. Basically, when you see the letters followed by an A, that means it's, it's the raw plant. It hasn't been cooked and I really shouldn't say cooked because it's not really cooked when you cook like I'm gonna make a cake tonight with my kids the oven's gonna be set probably 350 375 this is called with with the hemp plant it's called decarboxylated or decarboxed and you have to do that in order to break down to get rid of the a to make to make it just go from CBDA to CBD and the reason for that is the benefit your system is going to be it's going to be more powerful when you have cooked it when you've decarboxed it you're going to your system it's going to be able to utilize it more effectively when you take it from the raw state and you put it into the decarbox state again keep in mind this is labor intensive anytime you have to cook something i believe it's to 270 340, 340 excuse me when anytime you have to cook something that is energy consumption, right? That is labor intensive because you have to put it in the oven and you have to watch it and you have to make sure it doesn't get too high. So these, all of these things account for the price of the plant. The more you have to do to try to get it to the market, you're going to have to pay for that. And when you're using a small farm, like what we have here at the studio, keep that in mind. But I do want to let you know that the Martin Farms is coming in rather competitively, especially compared to some of the bigger name brands that we've seen, um, like especially the, the Oregon Trails that we have. It's actually come in underneath the Oregon Trails. So even though it's a small farm, because it's uh, because some of the products in Tennessee are newer, they're coming in very competitively priced. But keep in mind, if you're going and looking for them online, you might want to be aware of where you're getting them. Like I said, on the West Coast, it was very wet, a very wet season. So that means you might get a plant with that molded mildew, which wouldn't be the best thing for you. If you do end up getting a plant that is not trimmed and it looks more like this guy, if you want, you can go in and trim it yourself and save those to get the CBD like through a butter or an oil like you may have learned about during our uh, open house. We had an open house event on Black Friday where we talked about how to make your own CBD edibles. The leaves and all the other parts of the hemp plant are excellent, excellent options for you to make your own CBD butters and oils and things of that nature. And guess what? If you're interested in learning more about that, We'll be having another event like that in the studio where we will show you how to decarbox your own hemp plant and make your own butters and oils because that was such a big hit. And then you can make your own edibles. So if you are use, looking for a way to use CBD in your, your, your diet or in your supplementation regime, this might be a really great way of doing it because this is a natural product and it does have a smell and it does... The tinctures usually have a flavor to them. So this way, if you've gotten the, the bud and you keep the leaves and you extract it with the oil or the butter like you'll learn about in our um, events coming up in January, you'll be able to use it and you'll be able to put it with a butter or an oil and then make it into something like cookies or brownies or put it on your toast. And then you get all the benefits of the CBD in your system without quite so much natural flavor. So to recap really fast, inside Thrive Yoga and Wellness, we now are carrying a new local brand called from Martin Farms, and the, the strain of hemp is called Young Sim 10. The amount of CBD that you'll find varies from 10% CBD all the way up to 14% CBD. I can't say exactly what it is. I believe on the packaging it tests for a lower limit of 10.6% uh, CBD, excuse me. It does come in at 
0.3% THC or below, it's the legal limit. And this is a small farm grown right here in Red Bank. It is hand trimmed, all natural, no other preser no preservatives, no pesticides, nothing else was used. It, it was just as, as nature was intended grown in each of these bags. We only, the, the Martin Farms is only the flower. You can get it in one gram, five gram, and 10 gram containers. And that brings up a really good point. These come very, very small because this little guy does not weigh very much. We're not counting on them like in pounds. A pound of this stuff would be like, like a big Rubbermaid container. So this doesn't weigh very much. That's why they are in grams. Uh, you don't usually see things in ounces either, but that's taken me for another video. That's a conversation for another video. We actually have a really good article on our blog that was posted about six months ago. I think it was this summer where we talked about some of the differences in the measurements and I will definitely make sure to link to that in the comments below. Hey Elizabeth and Brittany, thanks for watching. Oh, and hey Patty, thanks for, for tuning in. So we have some more information on our blog talking about the different measurements and what these MG to MLs mean. And we'll be adding more content to that, especially as we dive a little bit deeper into the, the natural state of the industrial hemp plant. Keep in mind, you can find hand-trimmed flower, hand-trimmed bud in the studio, and the hand-trimmed looks like this. There's no little leaves. The leaves are fine. There's still cannabinoids in it, but when you leave the leaves on it and you smoke it with the leaves, it might make a more harsher smoke, so it might make you cough. That's what that means if you're wondering what harsh sound is. It might make you cough a little more. The Young Sim Tim does have citrusy sorts of undertones, I believe is the word. It smells a little bit like lemon, and it is a very new strain. It's a, it's a very new strain of hemp coming in between 10 and 14% CBD and measuring at 0.3% uh, THC, the legal limit inside the U.S. Thank you so much for watching. Go ahead and leave me some questions down below if you have questions about CBD, supplementing with CBD, how much CBD you need, all of these things I would love to answer in future videos. Like I said, we're gonna be trying to do a series of videos every week talking about the flower and showcasing the local, the local farms that we have here. And I will be showcasing Martin Farms first, mostly because I know the farmer, that is Martin, the Martin, Grandpa Martin is my dad, so I know the most about that. And so we'll be showcasing Martin Farms, but we will be carrying some other local flower companies as well. And it's a really great supplement for you. And it's it's even kind of a fun thing for you to try out if you're new to supplementing with CBD and you're open to the idea of smoking it. If you're not going to smoke it and you're just going to be using it like as an edible, your homemade edible, then you can totally look for the non-trimmed, plant. They're sometimes harder to find, but it still can save you a little bit of money if you can find it. We will have some non-trimmed flour in the studio. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. Again, if you have any questions about supplementing with CBD, CBD uh, hemp flour, I'm calling it CBD flour. It's hemp flour. If you have any questions about that, go ahead, drop some comments down below. You can also shoot me and oh, um, you can shoot me an email at jennifer at thriveyogaandwellness.com. Martin Farms is located in Red Bank on Martin Road. <laughs> so that's a that's an easy thing. Uh, and it's it is uh, local to Chattanooga. They oh my gosh, I forgot how many plants that we've had, but there was a, they had a really good crop this year. Very very um, pleased with the outcome. It's a very very good tasting flower and in our next video we'll show you a little bit more how you can use the the bud and different ways that you can use it into your system and then again we will be having special events inside the studio teaching you how to make your own cbd infused oils and butters and if you guys want i can shoot a video on how to do that as well just leave me some comments and ask me some questions down below Thank you so much again for watching. I can't wait to see you again soon. You guys take care. Bye-bye.